Hey cuties, PG here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we're taking a look at new Disney bounding boy dolls. Not too long ago we got the full release of the new Disney ILY or Illy Forever Disney bounding dolls. These are adult dolls that are supposed to be not representing the actual characters that they're themed after but they're just kind of like inspired after these characters and so far we've gotten six uh, female dolls that have been super popular and accompanying the doll releases we've also gotten a ton of fashion packs accessory packs and uh much more i'm sure down the line this is only the first wave you guys and already the singular doll costs like uh 20 something and uh the accessory slash fashion packs cost like 16. so su suffice to say it's a lot of Correction, money. Correction, they cost 30 uh, bucks, so $29.99, and they are all available on Shop Disney in the US and also in uh, the Shop Disney uh, website for Japan and I think also the one for Europe. So they're supposed to be wildly available uh, shortly for like the whole globe. <laughs> so this is very exciting. And these dolls have become very quickly one of the most popular uh, fashion dolls right now uh, in the market because of the level of quality and detail that these dolls and fashion items have on them. And so I think a lot of us also maybe wondered, what if they made these dolls, but they were some boy adult uh, Disney bounding fans? And thanks to Disney doll days on Instagram, we can see a peek into what that possibility could look like. Because they made all of these mock-ups, edits, sketches, the, the, all of these designs, these pictures that we're going to see in this uh, video, they are all created by this person uh, and they did an amazing job. I mean, this is genius. When I first saw these, I was like, wait, is this like a designer who's working on like maybe the second wave that's gonna include some boy dolls but no this is just all fan made by them and this is amazing the level of detail and quality that went into these designs is just groundbreaking uh and i can't wait to see uh i mean i'm sure they will but how long it will take disney to make some male isle y illy forever dolls because once you've seen these designs even if you're not a fan of male boy dolls fashion dolls you will also to be tempted and very intrigued to see these dolls made into real life and to collect them yourself because these are amazing designs and i cannot wait to see how long again how long will it take disney to snap out of it and realize there's a huge opportunity here with if they made some boy dolls some male uh illy forever dolls because i mean just starting girl. with the first picture here these are the base uh sketches so like these are the first sketches probably that they did of the characters and uh from like the proportion wise and like just i they probably looked at the design and proportions of the female dolls and and kind of like made them uh based off of those proportions made them into like male counterparts and they did an amazing job again because these i i was fooled i thought these were like legit from a designer uh from the team that makes these dolls because they look so good and we have four characters here uh, so far we have four characters uh one is inspired by um lion king one is aladdin inspired peter pan and then we have hercules not only are the proportions and design a exact replica of the female dolls but also the level of diversity every character here is diverse and unique and that's something that people also really love from the female dolls and then first up we have the hercules inspired character and uh i'm just i don't know i'm just smiling this is great look at this design he looks this is more like uh like render like heavily render like uh, i'm not sure what you call this but this is not a sketch anymore this is a fully like with lighting and there's like multiple layers here probably so it looks like a, the finalized version of what the doll would look like um and to me this looks lifelike They're like this i thought this was like a stock photo like maybe like a really rough stock photo um but it's not it's just a sketch or a drawing again i'm not really familiar but it's just it's not it's just this drawing and it's, it looks great and so here we have the character from before with the longer hair um and he He's uh, Disney bounding as Hercules and it looks great. He has a tank top on. It's like, it's like kind of brown. And it has uh, Hercules, obviously the font in the front and the number zero. Does that have like an importance to Hercules? And then uh, he has a pair of shorts on that have like a cloud motif. His accessories are a little uh, like a container, like a, like, like a drinking container <laughs> but it's like translucent and it looks like it's like specific uh and specifically inspired by greek kind of like uh like the uh the things like the pillars yeah and then there you go so <laughs> it's 
it's all inspired. Everything here is inspired and deta somehow detail wise is rooted in the uh, Hercules, uni Hercules universe. So I love that. And then the Letterman jacket obviously fits in perfectly because it's of course Hercules inspired. A Letterman jacket fits perfectly. And then that cap um, has the Hercules theme as well. The little Mickey ears, which also is kind of genius because the girls had the headbands and here the guys have caps which is also like really nice also his backpack is uh has like a, some graphic from the movie with the uh oh my god with the muses right is that, that's what they're called uh and then we even have like a monster depiction uh, again it's all from the movie and if you're aware with if you're familiar with the movie then you know exactly what this is and then the shoes some sandals because of course he would wear sandals and uh that's basically it but he also comes with a little balloon that uh just like with the female dolls they will have a mystery surprise hidden and that's so cool um so overall i think it looks great also i adore that uh he has freckles on his uh like nose and it's it's so sweet and the expressions are very lively and also in the comments uh the artist said that um the hair would have been rooted so uh for their idea of for these dolls it would have been rooted for the male uh uh, dolls and i completely agree i feel like that would have been great that that's gonna be great and i hope if they do make these dolls that they will give them rooted hair and not just plastic molded on hair because i feel like this would work really well for for this type of just for this whole theme it were it would work really well with the rooted hair especially long and then as, also if it's short as we'll see in a second i feel like just rooted makes it feel more quality um special then we have the lion king uh bounding character uh he has a shirt on that's yellow it has the uh Oh my god, I, again, I, I, all of these themes and like depictions and, and graphics I recognize from the movies, but I'm not sure like from which, which scene specifically this is. It's like the um, drawing that uh, Rafiki, that's the name of the monkey, like he does on the, um, the tree or something of Simba, right? At the beginning of the movie um, with that like uh, substance from the uh, fruit or again i'm stumbling here but you know what i mean this this is iconic it's on a shirt it looks great the shorts as well have a little pattern the shoes very simple boots but works very well it's like safari themed um he has some uh, sunglasses that are like simba themed as well with the ears i did not notice that that's awesome and a little bottle um that also has some more safari animals from the movie the cap has hakuna matata written on it it's iconic i love it and then the little vest has some floral printing on it really nice in a backpack uh, has obviously the iconic um view of the sunset um from the beginning of the movie or from the end of the movie uh, not from the beginning but it's probably this just probably like a like a gen generic um uh image that's from promotional stuff or, or merch from the lion king but it's still nice and it's again eye grabbing you you immediately know what this is and what it's themed after and then what i love the most <laughs> is um they put the lyrics of the beginning uh tune of the movie you know when the person goes bass again yeah, da, 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 da. that's they put the lyrics on the backpack and it i didn't even know there were lyrics for that song and that's <laughs> oh my god it's so fun i i can't i'm losing my marbles here it's so sweet it's so funny and it's just so genuine and I also love the face up for this character. He has uh, some side swept hair, some flocking. Probably it would have been probably flocked on the other side where it's uh, shorter, which I love. And uh, his balloon is uh, also Next orange. Next up, we have the Peter Pan inspired uh, character and immediately a lot of green, a lot of green here, uh, but it's obviously perfect because of Peter Pan. His whole outfit is green. So starting off with the shirt, it has an ongoing like Feather pattern which of course Peter Pan has a feather a red feather at the top of his little cap iconic it's a button-down shirt uh, so it might even velcro on the front which we've seen done in past uh, boy doll uh, items he has a watch on one arm and then on the other wrist he has some bracelets really neat he has some denim jeans on that are like ripped and also green tinted some sneakers some white sneakers and he comes with this little map of Neverland. Oh, I can't. This is probably also like from the movie or something. It's so cute. Um, and then a bottle, Never Grow Up. Oh, again, everything here in some way or another is inspired by the movie that, yeah, like Peter Pan. It's iconic. I love it. The balloon here is green. Um, the cap also has the red feather attached. Genius. Um, and then the um, backpack has 
Oh my god, a little icon, like lo location icon, of, and then says lost, lost boy. Again, I can't. How genius is that? Someone hired this person. They are, they have, they are too good, too good. Seriously. And then the coat is um like a trench coat. It's very, very suave, very like charming, uh, and definitely uh, it does a good job of popping in a little uh, smidge of uh, trendiness of uh, fashion for not nowadays fashion. So, uh, and then also seems like it's attached to a green portion on the inside or maybe it's just like a uh, lining i'm not sure but it's it all fits perfectly and it all looks really great and the character as well he has some really nice hair and um the smirk i'm living for the smirk and a little dimples here it's so cute i love it i just i love him and then the last boy character here is inspired by aladdin of course of course and it, he's fully decked out in purple most uh mostly purple i mean no it's basically all purple <laughs> Great. And it works perfectly because he has a very light, uh, fair skin tone, so it really bounces off. It really, it really works well. Um, so yeah, he he's wearing like a hoodie, like a sleeveless hoodie, which perfect. I love that. And then uh, the print, the little logo on top is um, the lamp, obviously. And then it says "You wish." Oh, iconic! I love that. And again, I feel like most of these items we've probably seen in real merch items. Like, there's probably like real shirts out there that have something like this or something similar that we're seeing for these designs. It's just iconic. And then the uh, shorts are like really baggy and they look like tie dye or something. Like they have a little swirl in the middle uh, and it looks great. And then the shoes, simple sneakers, always works. The balloon is purple. And then, of course, the Fermos bottle is purple, is blue, and it has the genie uh, face on top. God, I love it. It's so, it's so perfect. It's so Disney. Like this is, uh, this is so on point to what Disney would actually do. It's, it's honestly insane. It's crazy. I can't believe believe it um the backpack has the carpet uh print on it it looks great and then the denim jacket is pretty simple but then the cap also has the uh again i think it's like the carpet uh print it looks great i think overall he looks great maybe he's like more um like laid back design wise than the other characters but i still think like you see the character and you and you obviously think oh it's it's aladdin inspired like a hundred percent and you can tell like the genie bottle i think is my favorite piece it just it's so cute his face up look at his freckles as well i love the freckles i love his expression a little like he's blushing a little bit like a little bit of blush right there in the cheeks it's so cute and then the hair is like really short really curly uh but i think i've seen boy dolls in the past that have had that kind of hair texture so i, I think they could do that definitely it's definitely doable for a, a real life version and here we have a comparison of what he looks like with and without all his gear on he looks so cute with the cap jacket and he's holding the backpack in a little bottle and i also appreciate that if this were real life and he was a real life doll the fact that his uh, hoodie is sleeveless makes it way easier to put the jacket on him because it's just way easier without having to pull out the sleeves from the hoodie through so it's it's way easier and it just it looks so good on him and it's also less bulky of course so. here we can also see what the other characters would look like with all their gear on and it all looks great it's all very cohesive it's all very well thought out the vest in the middle lion king is serving the backpacks all look great and all of the caps it's so cute i literally cannot and the letterman jacket the sleeves it all ties together with these sandals uh, at the bottom for hercules and i love the trench coat like the little uh, business coat in brown like the little uh, like it's not brown it's like a very nice um uh beige v very nice beige color and it just it all ties in perfectly and also without their gear on without their gear on they look great um and also the different pieces you can mix and match it it, again, it all works perfectly. That's not all because we also have fashion packs because of course we do. Here we have a fashion pack that's Frozen inspired for and the uh, Lion King inspired uh, Lion King bounding character is wearing the fashion pack. So my favorite piece is the shirt that says the cold never bothered me. Anyway, of course the iconic lines from the movie and uh, that Elsa says herself. I love this on the shirt and it also looks like a real life shirt to me that you could actually buy. The pants looks like they're going skiing. Uh, I believe those are like snow shoes um, on the bottom there that you can attach to the shoes or something. I'm not sure. 
<laughs> that little hat is so adorable and a jacket silver very bright it's like you, it's like very reflective um the material is is very much like i can already imagine how it would feel like in my hand it's like very very reflective next up we have a sleeping beauty fashion pack and i love this i love the shirt with the uh rose forms and it's like a gradient of light pink to dark pink from the bottom to the top and then we have the black pants but they have some blue plain blue paint splatter at the bottom again also kind of like gradient gradiating from more paint to less paint to the top um that's genius i feel like obviously because the pink and blue theme with sleeping beauty is such an iconic theme and then the shoes are pink and then the jacket is also pink with a little um spinning wheel a little patch at the top oh i love it and then the sunglasses the sunglasses are like a mixture of pink and blue it kind of shifts um and then they also come it also comes with a skateboard that oh my god that's the cake that's the cake from the movie the big the big huge cake that they were making the fa the fairies were making the cake for birth for aurora's birthday and it kind of just kind of be became a mess so that's iconic i love the skateboard i love the outfit this is probably my favorite fashion pack. next up we have the little mermaid fashion pack and this one has a lot of pieces so here's some options on what outfits you could create with the different pieces so we have a pair of shorts a little a white shirt and then an, uh, and then a over shirt that's like buttoned uh, open up opened up and it has a floral print there's a little a towel in purple that has a seashell print and then a diving suit and uh yeah with the little mermaid um ariel icon on the top it looks great and also because here we can see more of the actual body of the of what what would be the boy doll body uh it looks very similar to what i guess like kind of like a ken body like a made made to move ken body so that's kind of like what they would look like and also i like that they still kept the knees very robust with the articulation like with the girls because the girls also have like those huge knee um articulation uh points in the middle so it's very very accurate and I, I love the little back bucket hat with the little merman uh logo it's it's merman instead of mermaid i love that the little bottle with sebastian sunscreen with flounder and the backpack um uh, again attention to detail here is out of this world i this is so cute and lastly we have a fashion pack that is a brave inspired yes i'm so happy we got something brave inspired because i don't think we got anything that was brave uh inspired in the uh wave one so far i don't think we have we i don't think we have i don't think we've, we i don't think we've gotten a single fashion pack that's like brave themed which is kind of yeah actually I, I didn't even remember i've completely missed that or maybe we did and i just forgot but uh yeah um it's i'm glad that we have one here at least uh <laughs> It looks great. I like the bowing uh, set, the little arrow, the sunglasses. I actually didn't notice this, but they have little bear ears to represent the little brother bears from the movie. So cute. The cap has brave on top on the logo. Uh, the little uh, we also have the little symbol on the hoodie, and then the little uh, practice um, thing practice pop-up board or whatever that's also really cute and the outfit girl i love the kilt i love the shirt team b for merida so girl i love that and then the socks and the shoes i think this is great also i love the attention to detail that they included a little arching uh, archer glove because uh, i think those are those are yeah very much what people use sometimes for arching. and here's what they all look like with all their gear on that all the jackets the cap all the hats and uh yeah it, again the design the design here for the fashion packs for what they would come with again is very realistic it's it's very much like what we have seen in the first wave of uh, ILY, uh, Illy Forever fashion packs. It is very much, again, the same kind of like ratio to what pieces they include. So this is very realistic, in my opinion. I feel like this is something that we could easily see come on the market very soon. And I hope we And do. it seems that we're going to keep getting new designs like this because they replied to a comment saying that they will create two new boys, a Quasimodo fan and a Tarzan fan. And I cannot wait to see what they will look like. I'm literally so pumped. And I hope y'all are excited as well. Because, of course, when those designs do drop, you'll be the first to know when I post about it here on YouTube. The first wave was all about Disney Princess. So what are your hopes? for the future waves would you like to see maybe a full-on villain 
Lynn's wave, maybe again, a boy's wave like we saw in this video. What are your hopes and dreams to see uh, for Disney to do next with the ILY uh, Illy Forever doll line? Because there's so many, literally so many possibilities. It's endless and uh, I'm so here for it. I cannot wait to see what I do next and uh, I'm very excited. I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the dolty you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time. Stay peachy. Kisses.